this video, we're going to walk through post-processing effects, an awesome way to enhance the atmosphere and mood of your experience by adjusting how everything looks before it's rendered to the user. These effects let you do things like add a soft glow to lights, blur out parts of the scene, adjust overall color tone, or create cinematic depth. You can apply them either globally by adding them to the lighting service, or locally for individual players by adding them to the camera. Here's how you can get started adding post-processing effects. In the Explorer window, right-click on either Lighting for Global Effects or your camera for player-specific effects. Click the plus icon, then select one of the following effects. First, we have Bloom Effect. This simulates viewing a very bright light, causing brighter colors to glow, similar to applying a neon material to everything. Then we have Blur Effect, which applies a Gaussian blur to the entire rendered experience, softening the view. Color Correction Effect adjusts several color-related properties at once, including saturation, tint color, brightness, and contrast to enhance an environment's appearance. The Depth of Field Effect simulates a camera lens by blurring parts of a scene that aren't in focus, allowing you to blur distant objects or focus on specific parts of your experience. Sun rays effect renders a halo of light around the sun, shaped by world objects between the camera and the sun, creating realistic visuals of light and shadow. Finally, we have color grading effect, modifies how color values calculated by the renderer are converted to the screen's color range, impacting the mood and appearance of your experience. These are easy to experiment with and give you a lot of control over how your environment feels. If you're not seeing any changes after adding an effect, you might need to raise your studio's visual quality settings. To do this, go to Roblox Studio, Studio Settings, Rendering. Set the editor quality level to a higher value so the effects are visible. These effects are especially helpful for creating mood, guiding the player's attention, or just adding visual polish. Try combining a few to get the exact look you're going for, and don't be afraid to experiment. That's it for post-processing effects. Once you start using them, it's easy to see how much they can elevate the feel of your experience. So step into the director's chair, light the scenes, set the tone, and bring your experience to life. Happy building.